In the world of technology, there are few companies as powerful and influential as ASML. This Dutch giant holds a virtual monopoly on a technology that is critical to the production of virtually every single electronic device we use today. Lithography is the complex process by which intricate patterns are etched onto silicon wafers, creating the microscopic transistors that power our smartphones, computers, cars and countless other devices. And ASML was the undisputed king of this domain, supplying the sophisticated machines that make it all possible. Their dominance is so complete that they were the only company in the world capable of producing the most advanced lithography machines known as Extreme Ultraviolet or EUV lithography systems. These machines are marvels of engineering capable of etching patterns just a few nanometers wide that's smaller than the width of a human hair split. Thousands of times. ASML's journey to the top wasn't overnight. It took decades of relentless innovation and strategic partnerships to reach their current position. They have collaborated with some of the biggest names in the tech industry, ensuring that their technology remains at the cutting edge. Today, ASML continues to push the boundaries of what's possible, investing heavily in research and development to stay ahead of the curve. Their influence is felt worldwide, with their machines being a critical component in the supply chains of major tech hubs across the globe. As we look to the future, ASML's commitment to innovation ensures that they will remain a pivotal player in the tech industry for years to come. To understand the significance of ASML's recent move, we must first delve into the fascinating world of lithography. Imagine shrinking the entire blueprint of a city onto a postage stamp. That's essentially what lithography machines do, albeit with far greater precision and complexity. These machines use a combination of lasers, mirrors and photoresist materials to project and etch intricate circuit patterns onto silicon wafers. The smaller the patterns, the more transistors can be squeezed onto a chip, leading to faster, more powerful and more energy-efficient devices. For decades, the semiconductor industry has been driven by Moore's law, which states that the number of transistors on a chip doubles approximately every two years. This relentless pursuit of miniaturization has been made possible by advancements in lithography, with ASML at the forefront of this technological revolution. China, the world's second largest economy and a technological powerhouse in its own right, has long harbored ambitions of becoming self-sufficient in semiconductor manufacturing. However, despite significant investments and rapid progress, China has progressed rapidly against industry leaders like Taiwan, South Korea and the United States in advanced chip-making capabilities. Particularly in light of escalating trade tensions and the increasing importance of semiconductors in critical industries such as artificial intelligence, 5G communications and military applications. Recognizing the urgency of the situation, the Chinese government has made semiconductor self-sufficiency a top national priority, pouring billions of dollars into research and development, talent acquisition, and the creation of domestic chip-making champions. ASML announced easing restrictions on selling its advanced lithography machines to China. These machines can produce chips vital for smartphones, tablets, and some AI systems. Experts debate if this is a strategic move or a national security threat. The global semiconductor industry faces supply chain disruptions and geopolitical tensions. ASML's decision will impact the industry's future and global tech power balance. The potential impact of seismic shift in power. ASML's decision to ease restrictions on sales to China has the potential to significantly alter the landscape of the global semiconductor industry. For China, this represents a major opportunity to accelerate its chip-making progress and reduce its reliance on foreign suppliers. With access to ASML's advanced lithography machines, Chinese chip makers could potentially narrow the technological gap with their international rivals and gain a stronger foothold in the global market. This could have a ripple effect throughout the entire tech ecosystem as Chinese companies become more competitive in areas such as smartphones, artificial intelligence and 5G infrastructure. However, it's important to note that the impact of ASML's decision will depend on a variety of factors, including the specific types of machines sold to China, the ability of Chinese chip makers to effectively utilize this technology and the response of other countries to this development. Are you enjoying the video? If yes, please subscribe, like and share our videos for more updated and exciting content. Let's continue. Geopolitical implications. A new world order. Beyond the economic implications, ASML's move also carries significant geopolitical ramifications. The global semiconductor industry has become a key battleground in the ongoing technological rivalry between the United States and China. The US government has taken steps to restrict China's access to advanced chip-making technology, viewing it as a national security threat. 
ASML's decision could potentially undermine these efforts and give China a technological edge in critical areas such as artificial intelligence and military applications. This move could also embolden China on the global stage as it seeks to challenge US technological dominance and establish itself as a leading technological power. The implications for the future of the global order are significant and warrant close attention. Economic ramifications, winners and losers. The economic ramifications of SML's decision are complex and multifaceted. On the one hand, ASML itself stands to benefit from increased sales to China, a market with immense growth potential. Chinese chipmakers are also likely to see significant gains as they gain access to more advanced technology and become more competitive in the global market. However, this move could also have negative consequences for other players in the global semiconductor industry, including companies in Taiwan, South Korea and the United States. These companies could face increased competition from Chinese rivals, potentially leading to lower profits and a loss of market share. The long-term economic impact of ASML's decision remains uncertain and will depend on how various stakeholders respond to this evolving landscape. Governments and businesses around the world will need to adapt to the changing dynamics of the global semiconductor industry to remain competitive in the years to come. The Future of Lithography Innovation and Competition Despite ASML's current dominance, the future of lithography is not without its challenges and uncertainties. The relentless pursuit of miniaturization is pushing the limits of physics, making it increasingly difficult and expensive to develop new generations of lithography machines. At the same time, new technologies and approaches to chip making are emerging, such as quantum computing and neuromorphic computing, which could potentially disrupt the traditional semiconductor industry. ASML and other industry players will need to continue to innovate and adapt to stay ahead of the curve. The competition in the lithography market is also heating up, with companies in Japan and China investing heavily in research and development to catch up to ASML. This increased competition could lead to faster innovation and lower prices for consumers, but it could also create new geopolitical tensions. Conclusion A new era in tech dominance ASML's decision to ease restrictions on sales to China is a watershed moment in the global technology landscape. This move could reshape the balance of power in the semiconductor industry. And ASML's latest move could be just the catalyst they need to catch up. This would have far-reaching implications for global semiconductor dominance, as China would be able to produce high-performance microchips at scale, challenging the current duopoly of Intel and Taiwan's TSMC. The geopolitical and economic implications are far-reaching. The coming years will be critical in determining how this new era unfolds. What are your thoughts on ASML's decision? Share your views in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more insights on technology and innovation. Subscribe to Revo now and join our vibrant community of forward thinkers, change makers and revolutionaries.